we are local. We have experience with the green code, area plans, transportation studies, and design projects across the waterfront and city of Buffalo. As was previously mentioned, our concept for the Skyway and the Route 5 corridor is quite simple. Remove the barriers separating the city of Buffalo from the waterfront. We have conceived an illuminating vision that creates dynamic places to experience the waterfront. The centerpiece is our Skyway Park, which was inspired by the 1901 Pan American Exposition City of Lights theme. Iconic vertical structures will be programmed and designed as beacons with universal access to spectacular views of the city and waterfront. Our public realm design principles for all neighborhoods include walkability, increased density, mixed use, placemaking, complete streets, connectivity, and authenticity. This plan provides a fun and inspirational experience for all users. Our plan maintains a functional transportation system by reestablishing a neighborhood grid network, grid network providing multiple corridors to distribute the total traffic volume. This proposal is consistent with current area plans and the green code. Our construction sequence is developing the bridges and alternative travel routes first, followed by demolition of one half of the Skyway Bridge and the Route 5 embankment, then building the Skyway Park, along with open space and habitat improvements at Tift Nature Preserve. Lastly, completing our road improvements south of the Union Ship Canal to Ridge Road in Lackawanna. To accomplish this requires an investment of $330 million phased over the next 10 to 12 years. The positive community impacts of our proposal include $1 billion in fiscal impacts, fiscal benefits, sorry, extend streetscape improvements into the neighborhoods of the First Ward, Triangle, Valley, and South Park. We respect prior planning studies, existing property owners, and include properties that are substantially controlled by the public sector, improving access to 2 million visitors and residents. Our pragmatic and visionary solution creates a world-class user experience and maintains a functioning transportation system at an affordable cost. This plan is feasible, sets realistic expectations for the community, and we can start tomorrow. Thank you. much for your presentation. One of the things that uh, the panel keeps hearing from members of the public is how implementable is it? Uh, what does the project timeline look like? I heard you say you can start tomorrow, but I also heard a time period of over 10 to 12 years. Uh, if you would, uh, talk to us a little bit with more specificity about the project timeline and uh, how this project would move forward and what phases would move forward. Okay, the, once we get past the, uh, you know, some of the scoping environmental issues, which we think could take, you know, nine months to a year, the first thing we wanna do is get the transportation network in place. So that's gonna be, in our proposal, that would be the bridges at uh, South Michigan, reestablish the Bascule Bridge over the Ship Canal, uh, get the extension of the TIF, the, do the TIF Street extension, which includes another bridge over the Buffalo River, reestablishes that, uh, goes past Solar City, and then uh, extends up the old Conrail right away, makes all the interchange improvements uh, so that before the Skyway would be decommissioned, you have the improvements at Louisiana, Hamburg, Smith, and Fillmore, as well as down at uh, the intersection with Bailey, uh, and Seneca and Elk Street. So that entire street network is done and ready before we decommission. That we figure is gonna take out till about 2025 uh, uh, for those improvements. Then you decommission it and you've probably got a year, year and a half of taking down the half of the Skyway Bridge as well as removing the pavement surface of the Route 5 corridor and eliminating and disposing of the bar that barrier, which is the embankment itself. 
then you're able to then complete the rest of the street improvements along uh, Furman, um, and you're able to build the kind of the centerpiece, which is the Skyway Bridge, uh, Skyway Park, excuse me, which we would figure be done around 2027. The last sections are really uh, the things that we need to do at the south end of the project. Everything at the northern end, you know, happens first, and then we wrap up with everything south of the uh, Father Baker Bridge and the and the Union Ship Canal, which would take out to about 2030 or 2032. Thank you. Could so you? Uh, 190 ramps cut off part of the downtown from the water side, canal side. How does your reconfiguration under the ramps intersect with downtown, the Marine Drive apartments, and the new mixed-use development proposed for the North Odd Block? Well, <laughs> our whole concept here um, revolved around trying to find a way to maximize development in downtown. We still believe that if there's going to be densifying of any area, it wouldn't necessarily be of the outer harbor, but it would be of downtown, allow that to continue to thrive. So you remove the bridge and then you remove the, the, uh, the abutments and everything. So even canal side can experience its full potential, possibly exp expanding the Erie Canal and having development sites that can be fully built out because there's no longer a right of way or abutments in the way. So when we took off the south, uh, southbound access ramp of, to the Skyway, we said we, could, we had the opportunity to consider reestablishing the Hooks neighborhood street network that was historically there. So the authenticity part is, is potential. That doesn't necessarily require the Skyway to be removed to happen, but by doing so, the whole area would be built out in a more authentic waterfront solution for everybody. Could you talk us through what's happening at, on the park, the elevator? How long is it? Uh, what's the sort of incentive for bikers to get up there? If it's a sort of fixed route, you know, there's limited uh, length that they can bike. And then yeah. how is that sort of coexisting with industry, which is immediately adjacent to it at the south end? I, I didn't get the last part. Of how that. is it coexisting with the General Mills plant, which is envisioned as part of the plan yeah. still? Um, well, the experience is, you know, really, um, the city of Buffalo and the juxtaposition of, with the lake is an amazing setting. You know, we're talking about physical, physical improvements uh, to the area, but really we're starting to take advantage of the actual setting probably for the first time ever. And getting people up in the air and letting the cyclists get across but then continue their journey in either direction is, is our goal and make it very comfortable up there. Thank you very much, City of Lights. <laughs>